are the girl for me. I have to tell you that. Yeah, you're the woman for me. Yeah. So let's speak and then you can catch the oh, next sorry. one. Huh? Sorry. I have to go. Oh, you missed it for me. I thank you so much. <laughs> One of the things that we become frustrated by is when we see the girl that we want and our heart starts racing. She's the girl that we've been waiting to talk to. It's the girl that you find yourself drawn to out of anyone today. And you feel like, I wish my heart would just stop racing. That's how you feel. It's pounding, and you can almost feel it in your throat. This is the sensation that keeps men locked for their entire lives. Because they think that it's actual real danger. And it's not. It's not real danger at all. The only danger in this moment is going to meet somebody that you don't know. That's the real issue. The issue is not your heart's racing and you're scared and this is a dangerous situation, no. The issue is you have issues opening to people you don't know. Then she leaves and you feel like fuck. It's crazy, huh? It's crazy that we feel like we want to do something, but at the same time, we can't do it. Opening to somebody you don't know is a very scary thing. I mean, this really hits to the heart of the matter. Because some guys think it's Simply because years and years ago, we used to be in groups. And within these groups, there were a hierarchy. And the, so to speak, beta man was scared that the alpha man may come hurt him. It's all these different things that I hear out there. And many of it, a lot of times, is, it has truth behind it. It does. But when you really get down to the core of it, I'm not talking about the way we were conditioned as a human being. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the conditioning that happens through the mind. I'm talking about when you really get down to it, when you really get down to it, it's you are afraid to open to someone you don't know. This is why your heart is racing. If I start to look at your relationships in your life, and the way they started, I would then go, you know what? I bet you that it started very, very slowly. It started from the place of you feeling like I don't want to open to someone. And then you met another person who felt the same way or who gave you a lead way to not feeling that. And from that position, you start to get to know each other and get to know each other more and get to know each other more to the point now where you feel like you're comfortable with them. And almost you're so attached to them, really, because you know that it's very hard for you to open to people. And some guys or some people actually really take on this. They take on this. It just takes me time to open up. They take on that. They think that that's actually healthy. You know what? I feel like I'm the person where it just takes me some time. And I tell that guy, I tell that person who says that you are prisoning yourself and not allowing yourself to really connect to people or connect to yourself. The 
This is why the racing heart happens. The pounding there, where you feel it get stronger and stronger and stronger, it's because you know in this moment you want to open to someone, but you're so scared to do that. When I think about my path in this, my heart used to thump so hard. Really, really, like my heart used to thump. I would see a woman and I would feel like, man, all right, I'm going over there. And what was scary to me, I started to see this over time, was not even the fact that I'm going to go talk to a girl that's attractive. Her attractiveness wasn't scary to me. What was scary to me is that if I go talk to her, I may have something bad happen. I risk when I go talk to someone, their ridicule. I risk them not liking me. I risk that. I'm risking that in this moment. I'm risking in this moment me going over there and it's not going in any way well. When we really open ourselves to someone, we know that there's risk. The risk goes the highest that it can even go for a person. The scariest thing in life is opening to someone that you don't know. That's the scariest thing. It really is. If you really look at all the things that are really scary about being human, as far as like connecting to others, the scariest thing is opening to that person. That is the scariest thing. And in the moment where you see the girl, and the same way I felt, you feel like I don't want to open to her. That's what that's all coming from. Because if I open to her, I am susceptible to her judgment. I am susceptible to her feeling like I'm weird. I am susceptible to her thinking something about me that's not pleasant. I'm susceptible to that. And you're right, you are. The guys who are the best with women, the guys who are actually the most evolved are the ones who are the most open to a situation that they know they want to go into, knowing that it may be a hard backlash from it. Those are the guys who are the best. The guys who actually can do this are the ones who went, I'm going to be open to the situation and all it may bring. And some guys, they think that the way to do this is through going out there and doing repetition after repetition after repetition. And they get into this sickening drive, really. It's not even really helping them anymore. They're just going out there and they're like, okay, I have to do a lot because if I don't do a lot, then my heart, then I'm gonna feel those same sensations as before. And some of them, some of them really take it on. They're like, okay, I need to approach at least this many girls. If I don't approach this many girls, I know that I'm going to feel like I'm nervous again. I know that I'm going to feel like my heart's racing again. I know all those sensations that I didn't used to have, they'll all come back. I know that. So they get into this rut really, where they're going out on the street and they feel like they just have to maintain this thing. And then with momentum, they feel like I don't want to lose the momentum. I don't want to lose it. So they continuously always are trying to stay warm is the best way to describe it. They're afraid of going cold again, which is the place of having not doing it, nothing, the place of feeling like they're nervous again. They're, they're really running away from that place and always running towards being warm. But this is not the way to allow yourself that feeling on the inside to be something different. That's not the way to do it. When I unraveled parts of myself that were deep in me, that's when my heart started racing when I see women. When I see women now, my heart don't race. It doesn't. And you may go, yeah, your heart doesn't race because you talk to thousands of girls. No, it's not because of that. No, in no way it's because of that. I actually approach less now than I did in the past. And I'm actually more comfortable now talking to girls. And it's not because I'm sharing love with a woman right now. It's simply because I got to the root of my beating, my, the racing of my heart. I got to the root of it, which was, I was afraid to open to people I didn't know. That's why I was afraid to. Because I didn't want to get hurt again like things that happened to me in the past. This is the reason why it was for the racing heart. And you may go, yeah man, but I'll, 
feel like my heart's racing because, man, it's just like a situation and, you know, the girl's just so hot and I go, no, it's not because of that, man. What you really feel in this moment is that you are open to the fact that you want to meet a woman who's hot like the woman you see right now. You are open to that. If you X'd out the, uh, the racing heart, it wouldn't be, oh my God, there's a beautiful girl. No, it wouldn't even be that. It would be, there's a beautiful girl and I want to go meet her. That's what it would be. But the racing heart comes from the fact that to open to her is too much risk. That's what it means. To be open to the situation is absolutely just too much risk to what you've already built on the inside. To go, I take some time to open up. When people say this, and let me, and if you're someone who said this, you need to understand that this is against you. I take time to open up to people. That's basically saying I keep people at a distance. I don't let them really see me. I, you can't be authentic if somebody is at a distance like that. That's not authenticity. Authenticity is the willingness to be open, the willingness to be completely open, totally present is completely open. So this is why your heart races like that. It races because you are someone who probably says to yourself or probably has the track of opening slowly to others. But in this one moment, it demands total openness. It does. And you're like, oh my God, Whew, okay. And your heart starts racing and it becomes even stronger because you're like, especially when you feel like you're gonna go do it, it becomes, it hits the height point, the peak, the climax, it hit it. And then as it hits the climax, you then feel like, fuck, I have the choice right now to do it or not. And many of the times you lean away from it simply because that seems like it's you. It does. Because when you lean away from it, you reinforce the fact that I'm someone who open slowly to others. You know, I take time. And even right now, there's questions going through my mind about what guys would say, like, you know, man, so you're, are you trying to tell me I should just go up to the woman and just be completely open and just say everything that I want to say? No, what I really mean is this. Be willing to be totally present. This is what I mean. Which means be willing to be totally present to the situation. Turning away from it, feeling like I don't want to do this because your heart's racing, that's reinforcing the fact that I close down in situations where it becomes intense. There's a difference in the way you need to move your body. There's a difference in the way your, breath your breathing needs to happen for you to be able to be open to the situation. Sometimes guys try to shortcut it and they go, you know what, I'm not going to let myself think this and I'm just going to go. So they try to do this thing of like the three second rule. And the three second rule is, is when I see a woman, I'm going to go in the first three seconds so I don't have enough time to think about the approach. So my mind doesn't race, so I don't become up in my head. This is what they feel. And that only works for so many times because it's not sustainable. It's just simply not sustainable to try to do the three second rule. That person isn't interested in opening, they're interested in getting away from the feeling. They're interested in getting away from the thinking. The only way to do this is with the awareness of knowing that I'm trying to get away from the feeling. And that's why I bring you to the heart of the matter. And the heart of the matter is being open to someone you don't know more quickly than you're used to. That's the heart of the matter. And if you're not willing to do that, you will always struggle with. I don't care how long you're talking to women. I don't care if you become really, really fucking great. You will always struggle with that. Your, your beating heart, the feeling like I'm weak in my knees. You will always feel that. Or maybe you will do so many and continuously doing so many through your life that you won't ever have to go back there. But at some point in your life, things are going to slow down. Let me bring you to the truth now. At some point in your life, things are going to slow down. You're not going to be going as fast. Maybe you're somebody who wants to go out there and talk to a lot of girls, or maybe you do. Very quickly, like as soon as you see a girl, you go. When things slow down in your life, you will find all of the things coming back up. You will find all of it coming back up. And then you'll start to get angry or frustrated and maybe even doubtful of your abilities. As 
So I tell you this, your racing heart happens because you're afraid to open to a new situation or someone you don't know. That's simply what it is. That's the thread that's happening inside of you. And the only way to this is being open, learning the ways. I teach the ways as well, which is I love teaching the ways to help guys with their breath and um, turning in certain ways. I love doing this, but finding the proper ways to breathe, finding the ways to face the situation is going to allow you to be able to go in. But there's something that you can do. When you see a girl, and you feel your heart racing, you can stay with it. Hello. Hi. You have such an interesting like face, like the, the structure. Uh, you don't look Hungarian. I look Hungarian. Yes, <laughs> and you are the girl for me. I have to tell you that. Yeah, you're the woman for me. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Where are you going? Hi. Do you have to catch the tram? Yeah. Yes, but you know this tram comes like every five minutes. Yeah. But I would like to speak to you. <laughs> All right, so let's speak and then you can catch the I'm next sorry. one. sorry. Huh? Sorry, I have to go. Really? Yeah. Oh, you missed it for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> so. So. Oh. It's so cold. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, this little thing you have on your head. It looks very nice on you. Um, well, I was commuting that way, but then I was like, she's cute. She has this thing on her head. I want to come say hi. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Chicago. Oh. I tried to come here. You want to travel there, don't you? Yeah, I could tell by your face you want to travel with it. Yeah. <clears throat> Hungary is, well, not Hungary. Budapest is probably my, it's my favorite place to come. Even more than Chicago. Interesting. <laughs> it's rare for an American to say, I know, yes. but yes. <laughs> like for you, you're like, um, I want to leave here and I want to go to Chicago. And I'm like, I want to stay here. And I want to leave Chicago. I don't want to go back. You move back. I saw you like the dog was coming, and you like move backwards to like this. You don't like dogs. I like it, but I'm afraid of it. Oh, uh, you're afraid of dogs. Really? On the face? Uh, you might be very, very young. Oh, uh, yes. Ten really? Years. So you were... I don't mean to t t ask you about this, but can you tell me about the situation? Because, you know, people always, you know, think about like, when a dog, I don't want a dog to bite me on a calf or in the face. But it was it like, like you were petting the dog and it just lunged at you? future you do want a dog yes. so little you want a little dog I ah, knew it yeah. Yeah. so that means you're skeptical you're skeptical even about dogs who even look nice so like dogs like this like this dog looks very nice yes. so you're even dogs that are just dogs big you don't like oh, okay a Yorkie would be perfect you know what a York Yorkshire is yes. A little Yorkie? Yeah. No, not aggressive. No way. Are you kidding? You thought the little, you thought the little small Yorkies? Yes. This is sometimes aggressive. 
<laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I, when, <laughs> Chihuahua. Very when, aggressive. When I when I think about Yorkie, I, <laughs> I don't think about aggressive. I think of like cute and and cuddly. <laughs> You're like Yorkie? Oh my God, no, 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 no. They're they're like the worst out of all of them. You know, I used to be scared of dogs actually when I was small as well. I used to be scared of dogs when I was young, when I was smaller as well. Yeah, but now I'm not scared anymore, but I used to be scared just like you, actually. Until I was 20, until I was 20 years old. How old are you? 20. You're 20? Yeah, until I was 20 So years. this is the outcome. This is the outcome of you being someone who stays with it. Stays, sorry, stays with it. It's really cold out here, you have to forgive me. You see women and you can go speak to them. I'm not going to show you how to stay with it, but I can tell you right now that staying with the racing heart, staying open to the woman that you want to meet, staying open to the situation of meeting someone very much quicker than you're used to is the way you're going to be able to go to talk to the girl. It's not trying to make sure that your heart not racing, it's as it's racing being okay with the fact that it's okay for me to open to someone. That's what you're reinforcing in yourself in that moment. And you can even say, it's okay right now for me to open to her. It's okay for me to be open to the situation. That's something you can do for yourself. My Berlin seminar is coming up, and as I told you, there are some spots left. It is. Um, I only allow 20 guys, but please understand, this is the first time that I'm going to come, and I'm only going to come one more time before the year is out. This is the time to see it. I do first come, first, first, first serve, sorry, like that. And also while I'm there, I'll be doing a one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, that'll be available as well. If you want to know more about that, uh, just email me at TonySolo at TheEssenceOfMen.com to learn more about it. The link in the description box will be for the Berlin seminar ticket. So if you're interested in that, Please click on that. If you're from the Netherlands or the close by countries to the, uh, Germany, this is the time to see me. Subscribe because this is where you're going to be able to follow me. Share this with anybody who you feel needs to hear this. I have a free Meet the Bedroom series. Everything from hello to going to the bedroom. How do you get her upstairs? Totally free for you. Click the link that's below the Berlin seminar tickets and it'll take you there. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I will talk to you tomorrow.